Tim what's, up, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The king is in the house. What's going on with you? I'm good, man. How you feeling, Tim? I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I can't complain. Oh man, I know you can't complain, man. You've been killing it this whole quarantine when you and Swiss doing verses, man. On behalf of everyone in the hip hop community, thank you for that. <laughs> man, no, nah, man, it just it, it, it's it's a blessing to see, you know, you know, like I said in the post, like your vision, if you have a vision and some people, you know, when you don't get the right, you know, perception on your vision, it can, yeah. it, you know, it's a mental thing. And that's why we have mental health. Right. Right. So I never understood about mental health until like, you know, having a dream or a vision and really building something brand new. Mm. It's different from being a producer, but really trying to be a businessman. And, you know, I had great mentors like Jimmy Iovine and mm. Jay-Z and right. all those guys and, and Puff. And Puff has been a great guy. He's like, now you're now you're tapping into another zone. Now you're tapping into that real zone. And it's 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 not the same when you know for mm -hmm. you know your music and then building a company. So right. it's like having a vision and making people believe in your vision, like it can get it can really mess with your mental and to right. see it from the and then, you know, to really to have God uh, quicken in my mind, to, you know, to call Swiss and say, remember that idea we had? Boy, let's, let's, let's jump out in the water. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, you know, I guess it's like how God told Peter, jump out the boat. You know what I'm saying? You're good. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so it, it's just it's just one of those things that it's a, it's a blessing, man, because everybody – Everybody, you know, I see people talk a lot, but nobody want to do the groundwork. You know what I'm saying? Put right. the muscle in. You know, even convincing you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you, 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 you got to have, if you say, oh, man, if I can't, you like, oh, man, get the hell out of here, Tim, boy. You going crazy. You know Tim, what I'm saying? Like, Tim, your track record you know is pretty saying? good. So it's like people that you look up to, you can't get mad because they're just giving you their honest opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the whole purpose of a vision is to make people believe in your vision. Mm. If everybody believes in your vision, why are you gonna work as hard? You know what I'm right. saying? And, and I know there's a lot of people don't like to put the work in. So it was, uh, you know, being in in my, you know, in the '40s, and it's like, okay, we are gonna start this new thing. It's like, it's 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 it's, but it kind of remind me of who I am. Just like I never quit it to be the best producer. I always wanted. I never stop when people are like, oh, that's why. Simbo, you're a Mount Rushmore. Come on now. No, but I, no, I don't look at it like, I feel like, you know, I always was, like, I looked at people like a Dr. Dre and the Primos and all those guys, and I feel like I just want to sit at the seat. I just want to sit, get a seat at the table. Right. You know what I'm I, saying? So I always just push forward. No matter what was thrown at me, I just push forward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So to see this versus, and, it's, and it's, it, it feels so good because – it's a creation that's bigger than Timberland. And it's like right. it's, if it was a if it was a person, that that person would be a superstar right now. It's like I was about to say, do you do you still get the same satisfaction that you did get from verses with when you create a new superstar, a new artist? No, because it's like I get, you know, the pandemic made me realize like this things I gotta work on within myself and I like is making me spend time and better and a better me and getting away with old habits because all i really want to be when i think about timberland timberland's a guy who created a style so mm -hmm. and i told swiss i said that man we we are creations we are we curators we create the new wave but the wave is stronger than us right, right? we can have two million we can have four million followers that wave gonna catch up to us and say goodbye you know what i'm saying <laughs> and to me i think that's the beauty because i always want to be I always, because I love Dapper Dan, right? The guy yeah. who made these people look great. I always want to be the guy who gave the culture something to put a smile on their face. Not right. me being, because I don't want to be a star. I just want to be the normal guy like me and you. Then we go out right. and move Chris to a regular <laughs> stuff. Like, yo, that's the yeah. guy, yeah. I'm, I'm like in that stage, like, yeah, hey. Like the shy guy, like, I don't want to be mm. the, the front guy. I, I want yeah. my creation that I create. So it allows us, like, man, you got an idea. Knowing that people, right. my creation tap, breaks the culture like that, so I bring something new, and we come, it's like, hey, man, we own to something. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Bump trying to be in front of the thing. You know, like, I, yeah. people be like, yo, 
I'm going to put Timberland like, hey, 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 don't, you don't got to over explore. Like, I know it's a legacy, it's a legend, but I'm trying yeah. to be powered by, created by, you know what I'm saying? I want to be that guy. I don't want to be. This is kind of like the third act in your career in some sense, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, I just don't want to be that guy. Like, I want to be that what guy that's chilling. <laughs> Unfortunately, Timberland, you have been that guy for over 25 plus years. And of course, this is artifacts. This is a journey through your career and life through the things you've collected and accumulated throughout the years. So without further ado, I just wanted to see some of the things you got during that journey, man. What you want to see? Which 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 you want to whatever you whatever you got. Show us some plaques. Anything you got any uh Okay, yeah. It's like if you can see, hold on, let me see. Can I turn the camera around? Absolutely. Like I don't really like how this thing work. Oh, I see it. It's, there you go. Like Nelly, like this is like the old one, but I'm about to switch them out because I got, you know, I got a lot of plaques. So I just put some and I just moved in this crib and you see the game. Put stuff you on like the game. In One Republic when people didn't believe. That song was like about 10 years old before I put it out. The Too Late to Apologize? Yeah, it was It was old. It was a whole different song and I switched it up. Really? Everything wow. is about timing. Then, you know, the, the Jay-Z. Magna oh, Carta. Yeah. Magna Carta, Holy Grail. Collab. And then I was always a big fan of uh, video games. So I got this with all the old school pack games. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? With all the video, the games in one. You know what I'm saying? Everything. You nice with the Pac Man, Timbo? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's really it because I just moved to this place. So I'm still, and when I moved, in this house, I had just um, just right before my birthday in the pandemic. Okay. So but I don't have too much stuff out. What do you do with some of the plaques that you don't have? Like, I know, obviously, this is just a fraction of the plaques that you have in your possessions. What do you do with the ones that are, like, hidden? Or do you give them away? Do you keep them? No, I just, I just keep them in, like, my closet or garage or something like that. I don't okay. really do too much. You know, I, I'm a, I, I, like, swap them out like art because it is art. Right. So I swap it out like art, you know? Do you remember, uh, what was the session like when you was doing the uh, Magna Column Holy Grail with Jay? Um, you know, that session was like, um, it, it was it was a moment in time that is like a memory because we was working on Beyonce. They was in another, Beyonce was in another room. Mm. I was in Jay, we was all in the other room. And it was like, you know, some, and it's like Jay's Barry, like, you know, he's, I call him like a prophet, right? Mm -hmm. So he he was like, it was our time because I know I always wanted to do a whole kind of body of work with him, right? Right. And I guess it, that he picked that moment in time in life to to for us to do that body of work. And remind you, I just came off of twenty twenty experience with Justin, so I just finished right like a week or two, and I flew down to New York mm -hmm. and we did it. Um, you know that place. Dang, I can't remember. I ain't been there so long, but it's Alicia Keys in the spot over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, Jungle Room. Yeah, Jungle Room. Jungle, Jungle Studios. In. Yep, and we was all locked in. Each room, every night, back and forth. Did you know you have a hit on your hands with that record? Um, I was just honored to 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 do a body of work with Hove. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like I feel yeah. like everything was aligned. You know, sometimes you know. What, what we all hope for is the stars to be in line. You know, we look for those moments in life, like everything lines up because, you know, in life it always throws you curveballs, right? Yeah. But but you know you get them fully closed every moment. And I just came off of Justin. I knew I was about to have a crazy run. And then, you know what I'm saying, it just felt good. My energy was great. At that time I had just got married and stuff. I was like, you know, mm. it was like a new phase of my life. You know what I'm saying, I got married now. But it was a new phase at that time and every the energy which everything was just perfect and you know what right. I'm saying? So it was just like i had so much music in me that i wanted to get out so it was that i it, and it was cold too it was winter time it was dope too and the energy was high man it was very high <laughs> yo tim do you remember your first platinum plaque or your first gold plaque my first i think gold plaque was or platinum it might have i think it did go platinum it was Yo, it started from my day one song. My Which day one? one song, my Which first song, like by myself, Timberland. Um, mm. If Your Girl Only Knew, Aaliyah. Really? Wow. And then from there, it was shoo, 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 shoo. 
Just do you still have your Leah plaques with you, or do you have? I got that some. Of, I, have, right I, got, I got them. I, I got them in my uh, movie theater. Some of them. Some of them. I got your movie them. theater. Damn, yeah. Tim, how rich are you? <laughs> man, man. It's just some of the fruits of the label that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Like you work hard, you gain some stuff. You know, absolutely. So when you got that first plaque, do you remember your reaction? Like, do you remember going out? Like, what was your reaction when you first got? That like, plaque? you know, like me, I was never like that tight. You know, like I think producers, like we different. Like, and I'm really am like a producer, creative music person. Um, we don't go out, out. Like, and it was like, you know, like it was just, I felt like it was a little bit more than I, what I expected. So it was just like, I kind of like, I didn't like, I wasn't a person like go out. I was like, yeah, all right, what's next? I never On to the next. Like, yeah, I was like, because I always thought it could be over. That was it. Mm. I was like, I was, it was almost like a gift and a curse. It was like, right. I, I, I never, and I think maybe because of upbringing, too. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, being around a lot of fear, you like, because I think sometimes, like, when you see fear, I think some of the people around in, like, just in my circle at the time, oh, you can't do that. Oh, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, from, oh, because mm. it's like, a, I guess it was a, a Virginia thing, not knowing that your mind could be broader, you can jump outside the box. So, for right. me, it was always, it worked in my advantage for that particular, but it never, I never really celebrated. You get mm. what I'm saying? Because I feel yeah, I got like, you. I felt like if I celebrate too much, it's going to be over. Right, like, right, right. The balance. Because right. I feel like I don't know if it's what's too far. And I always had this imaginary person always in my head. You better not go too far. Blah, 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 <laughs> blah. So you better somebody else, somebody else on your ass. And I'm like, damn. And it's like, it's just like, it's just like breaking that curse. I never really enjoyed the plaques so really until recently. Really? You know, wow. A couple of years ago, just looking back and be like, and I use it now to to go forward, like to never oh. feel like when if 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 I feel like something I'm doing in life, I'm like, damn, it's gonna be hard. And I look at the plaques, and I'm like, mm. well, this was hard. What am I tripping? Mm. Like, let me get it. Hold on, let me snap back into this this greatness mode. And this, it ever, is what it is. Has there ever been a time where you felt like you've made it or you've arrived? Um, uh, yeah, because then you start going, like, it's a point where, like, as you making it, because, like, it was a point, a time, man, I, like, all I did is go in the studio. Mm. I didn't spend no money. You hear me? And we would get paid. <laughs> because it didn't, it's like, cool. It was like, I was always, I always wanted to stay ahead of the next nigga coming next, because you, back, you know, we got the internet now, but shit, back yeah. then, it's like, you got still, it's like, you got once you enter the door, you got to stay in the door. So yeah. I didn't think about you know spending money to like, you know, then the peer pressure came in, and then you know you start feeling yourself jury. Then I thought <laughs> I'm bigger than the music. Then that's when that's when shit started happening. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, that's when the God's gift started to like start mm. to leave you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because you you thinking you bigger than the gift. I said, oh shit, this is what I was talking about. But I I it wasn't the fear wasn't about. You know, it's about balance. You know what I'm saying? I right. realize, like, you can enjoy yourself, but always keep a balance. Don't go overboard. Know your limit of fun. Know your mm. limit of, you know, like, just having a good time. And, like, and just at the same time, having a good time, giving thanks. Absolutely. Great. Because what happens when we have a good time, we always, I got this. I got this. Uh, Yeah, you got it. You the vessel that got it. Yeah. Right? But at that time, if I ask you how you did it, you really don't know. You're going to give me a, a answer of yourself. But it's really yeah. like a, a spirit. It's spiritual when a person gets a win. Like, it's a spiritual thing. You know what I'm saying? And people can never, people like, well, you know, you, you do interviews. What was it like making that hit? And I'll tell you straight up. It, hey, man, it was it was an overwhelming feeling. Mm. And it just came through. And it, it just came through that song. Like, that's, I could, it's just an energy that, like a spirit of an energy that comes over you that makes that time be a moment, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, you know, people people get lost in that and, and always point at the eye and never look at like it's something else above, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a higher power, it's a it's a it's a realm that's giving you Absolutely. that. Absolutely. 
that's giving you that energy. Like when you have a great interview and people try to repeat that same energy, you notice it never works, right? You it never works. Like, never. You start, you start thinking about you did it. And it's like, wait a minute, whatever happened to me that day, God, or whoever you pray to, just like, I need that. You got to focus and get that, because that, that don't come every time. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I think at that time when I was doing stuff, I just think I got overwhelmed. I didn't know how to balance, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I, and, and I stayed in a safe zone by not doing nothing, but that's not healthy either. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you have to learn how to, I, I said what I've learned now, like nothing is bad. It's just a balance. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you can go out and go spend your money because that's what you work for. You both have a good time. Have but have good, good times time. with your friends, but go always go never forget how you got to that good time. And a, right. a lot of people, you know, I see it. To, I see a lot today where people just like, you know, you know, and I ain't mad because we was young. We did it. Everybody do it. But, you know, they just really give a lot of like their self the credit and like don't really look at the whole thing around it, how everything was aligned to make it be what it was. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so now I just like just always give thanks. That's why I love what Khaled does. Khaled show you he's the perfect example of to me, Khaled is the perfect example of balance. Oh yeah, for sure. Khaled's he always taking somebody. He gives you he gives you <laughs> in your face, but then yep. he's always looking up. And he's like, <laughs> I can't believe it. You know, you can see it in his face. You see it like I'm blessed. Like right. you can see like him, him reminiscing of times that not meant to be shared with the world but for his knowledge and that's what right. i've learned you know what i'm saying i look at that and i try to say i try to keep a balance it's hard because we all go overboard but if we know that hey you got to get back to that center absolutely you, right. you talking about I've never really enjoyed it <laughs> i mean now. well we we've, we've enjoyed your contributions tim i mean uh you talk about revenue you, you know we, all we have is the memories but you know in all the facts you talk about the things that we do have you've been associated with so many acts from Missy, Jay, Aaliyah, do you have anything from those people that you could that you still attack that you still have in your possession? Like from Aaliyah, for instance, do you is there anything from her that you? No, like kept? I wasn't never like the like you know it's funny. I'm glad you asked. Like, do I have anything? You know, like people ask me about reels. Like back then, I don't really have nothing. I I always do. I always do something. And I move on. Mm. I never. I, I always keep it in my brain. The memories. I never was oh, okay. born until like until now. People go back and show like I like like the uh, I was talking to the Hankersons and they go going to show me stuff that they did gather that I wasn't being aware. That's what makes Jay Z mm. dope because he had Kodak, he right. had Lynch to Lynch. catch from day. You know what I'm saying? For well, not say day one, but at least day three yeah. or day four. <laughs> like that's 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 yeah. um, that's very wise thinking. Me coming from Virginia, I didn't like people now that were around that I didn't think had footage or had stuff, they're getting mm. it for me now. So I don't oh, have wow. it now because I just moved. they like, yo, we got some stuff. I'm like, how do you get that? Man, you know, <laughs> I had a camera. I was like, remember that old camera? Like, I was like, yeah. oh, shit. Like, people that I, that was down with the basement, they give me old footage and stuff. Me, me, I was working. Like, I don't have that stuff, but they have it. <laughs> people that, that say, yo, I got footage and they'll send it to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, of uh, me, Devontae, I'm like, damn, man, you thought wow. you thought you was getting away. You won't never get in the way. Somebody has some <laughs> kind of a camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't I'm now collecting those things because now I'm going to appreciate it. And I can always go back to the stories if I look at the picture. I'm like, man, I remember blah, 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 blah. So they, they're gathering a lot of things for me that they think. Because I was always into the music, man. I wanted right, right. to like the what we call this show, the artifacts. So people the are artifacts. giving me artifacts because they don't think, because uh, they say I was so engaged into making somebody great that I didn't, I just collected the memory. They say that they saw it in me. Like I was never one to like, oh, give mm. me that, so save it and put, or somebody would tell, I was like, all right, if, 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 if you know, like I have a, like, I look at my drum sounds and be like, oh, this is a special this. And stuff like that. Right. I was always the guy that wanted to make the person I was working with be like a giant and be like, gotcha. I had something to do with that. <laughs> Speaking of giants, man, you had so many you've been encountered with throughout the years. What are some of your favorite sessions that you can remember, Tim, like from a rapper, whether it's Missy J or 
whomever you've been in the studio with? Um, you said What's your most fun session? What's your most fun session? I'm not. Hey, that's a good one. I ain't gonna say all of them are fun, mm. but like me and Jay was always like it was like musical chess. Were you guys always together when you made music, or was it sometimes separate? Yeah. We always made me everything I done. I made with people. Wow, it's not and like just you're sending like, him down in the saying, studio like, together. Now, recently, like four or five years ago, getting used to that. And right. understand business like it's like, you know, now I got to be like the Toys of Us of Beats, you know, so you got to just give them out, you know what I'm saying? Like packs, packs. It's a different, it's a different language, but everybody back then was face to face. Oh, they, wow. And from scratch. Wow. So all the gigawatts, the big pimpings. Everything was from scratch. The lobster and shrimps. All that. And I, <laughs> and, I, it, and I would erase it. Like, I wouldn't save the sequence because back then I was an ASR 10, so I wouldn't save the sequence. I would just click mm. it. But I had the drum sounds already saved, but I would click it so I would save the sequence and it'd already be on the reels. Because I'm like, why well, wow. would I save the sequence? I already got the, the songs already on the tape machine. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to save it and go back to it. But wow. now I look back at it, I said, damn, what if I save all that shit? So now I got to get go back and get those reels so people can say, what was you thinking? I can go back and solo things now. But everything became digital. So I had to go back and grab all the old files from tape and make, right. make it digital. Well, like we said, we saw Dirt Up Your Shoulder. We saw that process in the movie Fade to Black. So it's just that, that organic, that easy. Yeah, that was, that was, that one I had, I knew he was coming. So I made prior, I made it that night, the, the night before. Mm. And I mm. had like three, three in my um, keyboard ready to play. And then you also, then Ludacris ended up taking the potion, which became yeah. another great record of yours. Yeah, Ludacris took the potion. Jay-Z had some on that joint. I think, he, I don't know. Did he do something that beat? I don't remember. But Did he? I just know when we got to hmm. turn off the shoulders. That was it. That was a magic moment. Yeah. He, he, found, he, knew, the, he knew the bounce. Absolutely. Tim, before we get out of here, people keep asking, what's going to be the next versus? Can you give us a sneak peek? What's, what's the next battle we're going to have? Hey, man, just know, like, this versus is like this goddamn debate going on. <laughs> 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 just know that me and Swift, I'm over here rubbing my head because, yo, it's, 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 I, I it's, it's, I don't want to say it's, it, it's a lot of work. Right. But it's, it's also, I like to learn. And learning sometimes, mm. like, you, you, you know you got to work. So people, we, we, we so accustomed to, in America that we don't, we want shit the easy way. Right, you know right. Saying? You can build something. All right, you built it. Now you got to work to keep this bitch going, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know that's the hard saying? part. So, so, so what, is, what versus is like, it's just the work to go behind the scene that people don't know. Mm. So to your question is, something is coming very soon. I can't give it up. Mm. Believe me, if you can't see the aging on my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of politics. I understand. Yo, it just, it just, but it's beautiful because it's, it's teaching me how to communicate better. Right. How to explain more. You know, you can, you never get too old to learn stuff because I'm like, I never was great at English in school. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So I was always good at just I just love sound, so right. it's teaching me stuff that that I never, you know, thought I could do or were capable of doing because I always had a fear. Oh, I ain't gonna ask that person for something. No, he gonna. It's like, and I saw, right, I, saw right, right. I saw Young Dolph say that, and he ain't he ain't lying what he talking about because he it's it's a mental thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like when doing an interview, you, your man and that man come to talk, you know, you okay doing an interview, you ain't good, blah blah blah, and then you really start to talking to yourself and feeding yourself thinking that you really can't do something. So I'm like, right, no, right. I got to jump out. I said, bump it. I got to do it. And it's everything going to always be peaches and cream. You're going to get some no's, but that you don't, just because you get a no, you got to make it say yes. You can't, yep. you can't, but you can't get upset. You can't get emotional. You just got to leave it alone. Come back, do some more, keep moving and approach it again in a different way. You don't know. You might get a yes. I never learned that until right. doing verses. 
<laughs> so we all gonna get a new. We all gonna get a new battle soon, though, right? Very soon. Like Very soon. Okay. Because I am going crazy. You hear oh me? my goodness! <laughs> Yo, are we ever gonna get Sinatra's in the sand soon, Tim? Is that ever gonna happen? Man, ask Nas. Ask Nas. Nas got it. <laughs> Nas has it. Yes, I don't okay. like. I don't have it. That's oh Nas, gosh. man. He can have it. Like I, I, like I don't. I want him to put it out just because it's too great just to be sitting. Oh my goodness, we were waiting for that for years, Tim. I'm waiting. <laughs> I haven't heard the verse. He said he got the verse and everything. I'm like, okay, can I at least hear it? <laughs> oh my gosh! So if Nas got it. We're gonna get it for another ten years. Well, he, you know, he. I mean, you know, time. Like I'm saying, times. You could. He could put it out just like. I think timing could be right after he dropped his album. After he dropped his album, because right. he, he's in a zone. He's in a different space. Then I think after that we can probably do that. You know, everything's about timing and um, True. receiving it the right time. You know what I'm saying? I think True. right now would be the right time just because the energy in the air is about love and everybody yeah. everybody love talking to each other. Like we take we take a lot of things for granted. I see we we doing interviews on IG and it feels normal to me now. At first you yeah. get up here, you'd be like, <laughs> it's a little weird. Like it's a little strange. Yeah. But then I was like, man, fuck that. I, if anybody right. got something to say, I'm jumping, I'm jumping out. Cause I feel like this is the new way of what the world is going to be going to. It's going to be half outside and half, half. Yeah, do yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, because all the algorithms. Everybody's trying to learn every platform algorithm. It's a different world out here, and I'm like, man, we better get up on it. So this, so the pandemic and the silver lining forces us to get more creative and stop being lazy. I feel like we was getting too. You know, I feel like everybody was on the go and not paying attention yeah. to what needs to be paid attention to. Paying attention to the wrong stuff. So look what look at me now. We doing look at us now. Yeah, this is dope. <laughs> People keep asking People shock value it. three. Shock value three, Tim. Man, I can I, I you know what I want to do? Instrumentals albums. Instrumental albums. albums. Mm. Yeah, I want I want to do I want to get to the art. You know what I'm saying? I really I really I want to do stuff like Timbo slash Mike Will. Instrumental. Mm. Timbo slash mustard. And then, you know, hopefully. God willing, putting up in the air, Timbo X Dr. Dre, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Instrumental, five little joints, you know what I'm saying? This Because we're in a different world. I notice that people don't all, some people just like music. They just like vibes and beats. Right. And people just don't want to hear, because people don't like, they don't want to hear rapping right. They don't want to hear, if it ain't no feeling. Everybody got different mo different emotions right now. And mm. this is the best time to really tap in and see what see what see what people vibe is, and that's and that was say, give, they'll also give an opportunity for other people to rap over those and create something exactly more. and create. That's what we we're in the world of creating content. So why not? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like hard. I don't want to be when I do music. When I, you see me on my Twitch, I do it's because I love it. When people say, "Yo, send me that beat," it'd be like foreign. I'm like, uh, I would just put it in the archive, like like if a person just painting art and just putting this art aside, and then I distribute it later. Like, but I, I don't really look. Like before, because I felt like I told myself one time, I said, you know what? I work with everybody. I don't work with, I don't did a hit with, it's nobody I can really think. Somebody said, well, do you want to work with anybody now? I said, I just want to work with the new artists. You know, I don't mind, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> I done done all I can do. Done everything. I did a hit. I did a hit with the, the, the Michael Jackson the other day, which is Drake. I done did, like I did that. Like, yeah. Now I'm like, what else to do? <laughs> you know, like who else where do you go Kendrick, to from here Kendrick maybe Kendrick uh, yeah. you know J. Cole and the rest of the people you know what I'm saying but I done did I done did I thought about it I, said, I did records and a hit almost with everybody and it just you know I look at my plaques I'm like yo I never look at my highlights you know what I'm saying because I always afraid yeah. that I would never I, I didn't never want to be that guy that had this one highlight and just keep talking about it because I saw a lot <laughs> like, of that be like Al Bundy <laughs> Four yeah. touchdowns, one game. <laughs> yeah, like I couldn't do that. Like I always, I was man, and I just now, like in the last five years, to start being free with balance. Like, yeah. don't go overboard, but enjoying and being appreciative, right. and just and it it made me just just like relax and just just be more grateful. You know what I'm saying? And just grateful that I'm doing this interview with you. You hear what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you know people want to hear these stories, but I've always been my mind. You know, this 
this other person that always had me like I, that's why right. when I listen to Charlemagne talking about mental health. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? Right? You know, because I never knew. Yeah. That. But then I start analyzing certain shit that I used to do. I'm like, yo, maybe I was a candidate. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. You know, so I just started like, I, and then I just started, I, I just prayed on balance, and and I just started getting it, and I really focused on it. You know, and that's right. why I'm just why I get to tell these people because you never know who's listening, who you can help out. Just watching us on this artifacts, and that's yeah. why I was so excited to do it because I've known you for a while, and I respect yeah. your ear. You know what I'm saying? I respect both of y'all ears, and I realized thought I thought about. It, I said, man, Edot and Elliot did a lot of amazing shit, and yeah. I just thought, just thinking like you know what I'm saying. But you, but when you caught up and you in your own little shit, man, you don't be seeing, you don't right. appreciate shit. So now I just go back and tell people like, man, what what you doing and what y'all doing is amazing, bro. Like yeah, just giving y'all flowers now. Appreciate that. We're definitely going to come back with the Rap Radar Podcast real soon after things settle down. Man, please, that's and okay. Y'all flowers, y'all doing it too. And well, definitely. Stopping. We're going to regroup for sure. For sure. Yeah. Once this is all figured out. So uh, thank you, Tim. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Thank you for Mount having Rushmore, me. Mount Rushmore, top five, top ten of all no, time. Man, I'm okay, man. I'm all right. Man. Ah, stop it, Tim. I'm okay, stop man. It. You I'm up okay. there, man. I'm glad I got a gift that I could please people. That's good. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you, man. You've been doing it for 20 years, so can't wait till the next 20 more, man. Appreciate you. Man, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all you. All right. All right. I'll talk to you soon, Tim. All right. Love. Yes, sir. There you have it. Tim Berlin. He didn't show much, but he had a lot of stories to tell. You saw the plaques. There you go. Another episode of Artifacts in the book. Shout out to everyone tuned in. My name Dennis, Tubbs, Jazz. Little Twister saw him on the check-in. New face, all the usual suspects. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel, Artifacts. I'm going to have the link there. Uh, what else? Shout out to Emil, who edits everything every week. He's a lifesaver. And um, appreciate you guys, man. And uh, we'll do this again next week. I don't know who we're going to get. Who do you want to have next week, man? Don't say no stupid shit like Drake or anybody like that. Who can we get next week? Hmm? If you're setting the ball real high, shout out to Rip K. Oh, man. Jamil was popping. What's up, Chanel? Or Janelle? Sorry. Beat up the president. Yeah, right. So what do we think we should get next week, guys? Florida. I don't know Florida. L O Cool J. Okay. Dre. Okay. Twister. Okay. I see some names. B M X. So we gotta find B M X first. <laughs> J Cole. Okay. Currency. Currency. Be good. Let me reach out. Let's see. We'll figure it all out. But in the meantime, appreciate you guys. See you next week. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, tell a friend. See you next week. Peace.